Welcome back to Immersion Gaming and welcome back to Detroit Become Human Part 2. Um, I hope you enjoyed Part 1. I don't know how much you're getting out of it so far because um, I'm, I'm doing all these intro videos at once basically because I've already recorded most of the game so I can't like comment on where we are with the game, what happened last time because I'm because it's all new to me and I've only just started the channel. I've already played most of Detroit Become Human so I'm just making all these intro videos now to put in before the game itself so yeah I don't think there's much in episode one really I think it's just getting to know the characters and and a, a, a small premise of where the story is going so yeah um, welcome back to part two if you've not seen part one then I suggest go and watch part one first um, obviously so you can follow on with the game um, and welcome back to Immersion Gaming again if you want to help the channel like and subscribe help the channel fantastically that's that's what we need really say at the moment to build the channel up and as always there's a Patreon link at the top if you want to help financially but other than that let's get straight into it Get into Detroit Come Human Part 2 in a bit. Hello, people, and welcome back to Detroit to Become Human part two if you haven't already i would definitely advise you to watch part one first as it just makes sense and i don't need to explain why <laughs> but yeah so where we left it off last time uh we were with her weren't we the car of the nanny bot and the father had just kicked off auntie and then started cuddling his daughter saying he was sorry so I don't know where we start off from, I don't know if it's going to go straight back to that or if it's going to start off with one of the other characters because we play a few. But as always, let's get into it. If you haven't already, I'd put headphones on and uh, let's get immersed. Here we go. We're taking paints back out the way for this character, Jude Law. Oh, deactivated. Welcome home, Marcus. Look at that house. Beautiful. big as my house or my flat. I just mean this room is about as big as my flat. <laughs> mm. Nice tiles in that one. Oh look in the mirror. Poser. I like that skull there, that cow skull or whatever it is. With gold pattern on it. A few masks and a coat of arms and stair lift. Zebra rug. But that costs a few quid. Oh the mechanical mechanical birds. Oh, they're android birds. He's got a ring on his head like him. Turn it on. How cool is that? Reminds me a bit of Blade Runner. That's the same sort of thing, isn't it, about androids? Again, graphics are breathtaking on this, they really are, as always. Right. 
to come over there. Dolls are automatic as well. Yep. Walk up to them and they open up the room. Nice, yeah. I love big fireplaces like that, big original stone fireplaces. Huge. Really adds character to a room, I think. That's what I don't like about no build houses, because there's no. Because it's all central heated and that, there's no need for fireplace anymore, so you don't have a chimney blaster out. It's like square boxes. Just try it. It's letting me do it, so I must have to do something with it. Oh, well. Very efficient. Take three to dine into it. Also, basically, it would tell a bit of go and wake him up, but I can suppose I can do all this before waking him up. Sounds it, that's good, is that? There you go, you're ready again. Pause it if you want to read it. Well, that's uh, ap applicable, but applicable at the moment, isn't it? About Russia. Are you getting ready for page two? Right, and then second story. I found them Titan. And get ready for page two. So yeah, same as last time. I'm just doing it so you can pause it and read it yourself. And just in case there's people that don't actually care and don't want to read it. Instead of having them sat waiting. You can just pause it if you want to read it. Be fair to everybody. Oh, I like the models that they're in there. Uh, oh, what's the of that? How many people do you know of a giraffe in the uh, dining hall? No secret passages. Pull a book out and a door open. Lion rug on end of piano. I'll try that soon when I've been and got in. Try playing piano. So, what's this? Oh, it's a nice chess set, that, isn't it? Checkmating three moves for silver. How can I do that? I can't play it. God knows. Yeah, I don't think I can do well with that. Oh, what's that? Yep. 
Jerry the giraffe. It's like he gets more of it out flower than on his canvas there. It's over here. Let's have a look. Clean it all up before he gets up. Let him have a sleeping. Hard work being an artist. Full glass walls. That's awesome. That perfect for a art studio. Just let all natural light in. Okay. So you can see straight away uh, a pattern forming here. How all humans have just got really lazy because they've got androids to do everything for them now. You know, everything just gets dropped where they are and stuff. That is what would happen, we'd get so lazy. Very artsy fartsy, isn't it? Oh, that's his bedroom. Let's have a look at him first. Make sure we're not missing out. You've got to be thorough with games like this. Because it all affects your um, options if all should happen. Or it's going to affect where the story goes. Spy on neighbours with the telescope. Out windows are like come up through the floor, full, full size windows. So this missing there must have been added at some point. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. Famous accident. Weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Yeah, I 
can't remember his name now. He's a famous actor and he's been in loads of films. Let's give him his medicine. Show me your arm, please, Very Carl. No. Carl. <laughs> Thank you. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. I like him already. He's, a, he's our human should be with androids. So you know, they're there to help him. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. That's why it Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, don't bother. Yeah, that's right, doors are automatic because he's in a wheelchair. And wide. Your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Just to let you all know as well. It might Television. It might seem a bit slow at the moment, but things do get going. It's just setting the stands, getting you to know the characters and stuff. It does, does get really good. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. Several American destroyers are reported to be headed for the Barren Sea. Douglas Cornwall, chairman of the UN, announced at a press conference that we have never been so close to a third world war. Again. How accurate is that? With the Ukraine situation. Scary accurate.
television off. Mankind is so depressing. Let's do anything enigmatic. Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. What's your verdict, Marcus? <sighs> yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> <laughs> you 
See, on that subject as well, that's the reality. There's, uh, there's a lot of artwork now, if you Google it, that have been painted by AI. And it's breathtaking, some of it. It's, they've got more imagination than we have. Cause they are limited by what's what's real and what's not. You know, They can just put all together and make art out of it. Um, what's that? Oh, stick around. Oh, no. What have I got to do? Oh, I need to find a subject to paint. Um, can I paint in? I'm not going to paint his paint. That's a bit <laughs> unimaginative, isn't it? Let's do desk. That is a perfect copy of reality. But painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. <laughs> This is where they're having a conscious. Do mind. something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough! Enough! Mm -hmm. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. Never you never loved me. I'm rattling. Hmm. So you're getting to know characters and that now. 
story will start really uh, unfolding soon. It's been a while since I've played it like, but I do remember how good it is. You'll never forget how good it is. It's absolutely awesome. So what the video we've got to make it see the different storylines we could have took here. And maybe if I'd have played chess or something else it'd have gone through another way, but that was road I took. Painted some painted from the heart, painted about androids and sadness. Yeah. Leo intruded. Right, let's crack on then. Who are we playing now? Ah, oh, the uh, negotiator, copper. No androids around. Guard, no criminal record. Oh, that's cool. Eh? You can scam people and uh, get their information. So I'm looking for my new partner or something. Edward Dempsey, administrator, no criminal record. Jonah Graham. Unemployed, no problem. Oh my God. What's your problem? What's your problem? Or by me, Christopher Gray, unemployed, driving under the influence. Drink? Not really, mate, no, is it? Dot. Kim Johans. Delivery driver, unemployed, domestic abuse. <laughs> Dennis Ward, counter, unemployed, narcotic, dealing. <laughs> Roberts, unemployed, no record. Samuel McCree, docker, no record. Hey, get out of here! Nice giant. Peterson, business owner, no criminal record. Okay, it's got to be in here. Then, isn't it? Hank, oh, it's in that uh, Green Mile, isn't it? Um, played one at Screws, one at plays, uh, prison officers in uh, Green Mile. Police lieutenant, no criminal record. He's a famous actor. Isn't it? Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. <laughs> what do you want? 
You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a CyberLife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, I don't like me how they do. Reason Listen, again. I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. We've got to build relationships with people as well if you want to get anywhere, but... I know, I'll buy him another drink. You know what? Get friendly with him. I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender? The same again, please. See that, Jim? Wonders of technology. Make it a double. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be my partner, then we need to get on the road. There's obviously a drum, but there's gonna be a reason for it. No one gets the Senate will mess that up for now, believe me. <laughs> Homicide. You wait here. <laughs> I won't be long. No way. I'm coming with you. Listen, you really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it through the rest of the night in one piece. <laughs> Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Fine in that thing. Because then his uh, life is going to went back down and he's not having to worry anymore. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me! Yeah. Quick graphics on that. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan until this asshole found me. <laughs> so? Yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. Tell it hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, so he was going on. That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the window. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Oh, state he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside of you. Right, so we've got to investigate again now, see what's going on here. There's the... Says I am alive on wall above him. Don't look like he's out over here. Still in the trash. It's like another drug addict there. This is definitely a crack house if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No. Human rights like this.
secret? Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? <laughs> got it. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. You think they'd give him some form of... Like, I would say so. Or, We're taking finger. samples for analysis. You know, to give him a finger thing in case all like this did happen. It makes sense. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. written in uh, cyber hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. So it's an Android that wrote it, basically. How many times he's been stopped? Wow. Red eyes around his mouth, so we were using just before. Stab wounds. Wow. Internal bleeding. 28 stab wounds. Deceased more than 19 days ago. So he's uh, decomposing as well. Belly button fluff. <laughs> Database match out his car loss. Criminal record anti theft. Uh, criminal record theft and aggravated assault. Tripped over his own rubbish. That's where he was stabbed. Oh, one at times that he was stabbed. So it started in the kitchen and then he chased him in here. He stabbed him there. He Stumbled, tripped over his own rubbish, and fell, and that's where he carried on being stabbed 28 times. Nice. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. No, it's times like this when I'm so glad that we don't have smell of vision because you can imagine what that place would have smelled like anyway before he got killed. But you can imagine what it smelled like now, 19 days later after he was killed. Definitely throwing up. Stopped first time.
What's keeping the car? He should have been there a half hour ago. He's on his way. It won't be long now. Oh, blood on the doorway, so I'm guessing that way where they stumbled out of the kitchen. Locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. No, he didn't. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Ah. They didn't go out back. Guys, get a move on. Just leave the professionals to do the job, eh? We don't want to be here all night. Don't worry. No one wants to stay here a minute longer than they have to. Fears to read. Right. Android sex officially better. Oh, so they even do sex androids. Probably for strip bars and that. spying on you. Oh, it's a bit like the uh, Alexa thing in it, but it can listen in. Next. Ready, and page two. Right, and then we go. Look of it, then he were beating Android up then with baseball bat, and probably where he got stabbed. Cause violent impact. Yeah, he was. He were knocking um, Android about, and they turned on him. So it's his own fault then. Obviously another asshole. Now it's got way back to the beginning. No, you can't. Yeah, oh, look. Cornered him. That's when he grabbed a knife. We were knocking hell out of him with baseball. What, what? Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. So let's see. He came at him. Bang. Whacked him on the arm. Bang. Whacked him on the arm again. Then on head. That's when he grabbed the knife and slashed him. And that's when he dropped back. Well, sorry, but he deserves it then. Deserves what he got. If you ask me. If you're going to whack the hell out of some of 
first ball back, you deserve it if the fight back. Whether it's an Android or not. evidence now. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... In the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... With the bat. With the bat. Lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. The victim stabbed the android. The android threw the chair. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Yep. Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... Him by then, he just carried on stabbing. Probably just beating up for months. He tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim uh, with the knife. With the knife. Okay. Your oh. theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Leading from the victim. So he went through here. Into here. Then it goes into here. Yeah. 
maybe. No, in this class. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, I'm going to check something. <laughs> Just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! I didn't Come make on! That. I did it himself. I'd be part of the story. I would have let him go if I'd have been offered option then. Definitely, 100%. Right, people. I think we shall call it a day there because that's, uh, I think, near on an hour. Either an hour or just short of, so. Yeah, we'll leave it there and we'll carry on in part three. So, what do you think? Starting to get good or what? Right, what story we took? Can't remember what happened. Reported to Anderson. Anderson. Reconstructed the crime. From Bubba to Attic. Search the attic and found the deviant. So, yeah. As always, if you would like to help and support the channel, please subscribe. Press the subscribe button. It's completely free. It doesn't cost you nothing. You don't even have to have notifications on if you don't want. But if you have notifications on, it'll notify you when I put a new uh, game on. Um, but you can turn them off. You don't have to have it on. But just by subscribing, you really, really will help this channel um, to grow. And hopefully grow to the point where I can really, really start putting some uh, ideas into, into practice. Because I've got some really big ideas for this channel if it, if it gets big enough. Uh, which will involve all you guys as well bringing you guys along for a ride because at the end of the day without you we, there's no channel so <laughs> it's as simple as that really I can't put it in more simple um, also if you can like the video that helps the algorithm apparently and if you want to put any comments on any advice you want to give any suggestions in how to make the channel better or any other help or feedback you want to give just bang it down in comments I'll have a read of it and see what you think but yeah thank you for watching and taking this journey with me um, I hope it's meeting your expectations and it believe me i can guarantee you now it only gets better and better and better like i was saying the first two uh, episodes so far it's just been setting the stance getting you to know the characters getting you to know the what the you know the climate of the the place of what's going on um so yeah it just gets better the start is really the story is going to really take um 
form now as we go along so yeah thanks again i'll see you soon and i'll be uploading part three very soon thanks people bye